Look, I'm on a couch this time. Today we're eating gamer snacks and we're ranking them. You're probably wondering what I mean by gamer snacks. Have you ever been eating Cheez-Its and thought, wow, these are really nice, but they're not the special edition collector's Cheez-Its box from PUBG? Yeah, so it's uh, that kind of thing. We're starting out with, you know, the PUBG Cheez-Its, which are, <laughs> they're gonna taste like Cheez-Its probably, but maybe I'll be surprised. And then we're gonna move up to weirder stuff, like, I don't know, uh, Suspicious Stew Pringles from Minecraft. What is it? What is this suspicious do? I guess we're gonna find out. So let's start. Um, we need to go to our beverages, actually. So uh, today we have Mountain Dew Game Fuel. We have two varieties. We have the Citrus Cherry based on Halo, and then we have the Diablo 4 Mystic Punch. We also have a couple of varieties of G Fuel, and by a couple I mean one. And by one, I mean the Sonic Peach Rings can. I have a tub over there of the cotton candy flavor, but in order to get that, I'd have to get it, mix it up, shake it up, and do you think I did any preparation for this video? No. I think we should start with the most normal thing that I have here. Starfield Nacho Cheese Doritos. The special thing about this is that you get to unlock a free Xbox Game Pass Ultimate subscription, I guess, and also points to earn rewards. So I'll have you all know that I am a Dorito fiend. Look at that bad boy. Does that look like a uh, Starfield Dorito? Do you feel like you're in the space. future? It tastes like a Dorito. I like Doritos. I really like the seasoning that they use on Doritos, though it does feel like most likely non-kettle chip to break my teeth. So I do like Doritos and I will go and redeem some of these codes after this just to kind of see what that looks like. So we actually have two more varieties of Dorito. We have the Madden Cool Ranch flavor and we have the Doom Spicy Nachos. Do you really want to watch me eat these? I don't, I don't think it's worth opening all three bags just to eat them on camera. Don't ever tell me I'm not committed. I always forget just how much I like Cool Ranch Doritos until I eat a Cool Ranch Dorito. But every time I'm at the store and I want Doritos, I'm like, nacho cheese. Quiz time, which one of these is spicy nacho and which one of these is regular nacho cheese? Lock in your answers now. This is the nacho cheese one and this is the spicy nacho one. When you put the spicy nacho cheese one in your mouth, it tastes like the regular nacho cheese one. The kick comes after, it feels like. Uh, ignore the dog. This is Boo. She's wonderful. I can't give you any of this, Boo. It'll probably kill you. Hey, do you want to get down so you're not in the shot, dingus? Go on. I love you, Boo. That was salty. I think it's time for a beverage. We're gonna start with Mountain Dew Game Fuel Citrus. We're gonna start with Mountain Dew Game Fuel Citrus Cherry. Here, let's see if you hear that. Mm. I'm not gonna lie to you. I've already slammed down like 50 of these since they came back out. This is wonderful stuff. I'm not like a Mountain Dew fiend or anything, but the Game Fuel flavor, this needs to be a permanent flavor. I. I don't know why this is a limited time thing. It tastes really good. It's up there with, it's gonna be controversial, Baja Blast and Major Melon are my two favorite flavors. Um, this is up there with those. I don't know why this is not like a permanent flavor. Now we have Mountain Dew Mystic Punch. I'm not gonna lie, I've also had a ton of these. This one's a blast of fruit punch flavor with natural, or with other natural flavors. I'm gonna be honest, this one is good. It's not as good as the citrus cherry. Um, there's just something about the citrus cherry, like, I don't know how to explain it. It's not spicy, but it's spicier, you know? It has like more of a, I don't even know, the kick to it? I don't know how to explain it. And now for one more beverage before we move on to another spicy, salty snack. Uh, we have the good to grow grape drink. It has 75% less sugar than their 100% grape juice. Now, tell me, how do you feel about this? How does this make you feel? I'm so sorry for the things that I have to do to you, Tails. Gotta get rid of the little lid thingy. Should I shake this first? I'm gonna shake it just in case. Best Buy, June 5th, 2024. It smells nice. Bottoms up, I guess. It's not bad, but when they say 75% less sugar, they really mean 75% less sugar. This is not like sweet to really any degree. But then again, I did just drink straight Mountain Dew, which is like liquid sugar. So maybe I'll try this again here in a few minutes. 
All right, moving on, we are going to eat our winner winner chicken dinner special edition collector's Cheez-Its box featuring custom artwork by Tristan Eaton. Look at that bad boy, made with 100% real cheese. When they say made with, doesn't that mean that they could put like a single drop of real cheese into like a vat of 10,000 pounds and technically say that it was made with real cheese? I just want to point out, this is a pound of Cheez-Its that I bought for this video. This video that maybe no one will watch. So uh, please like and subscribe and stuff if you uh, like my content. Maybe share this video with somebody, I don't know. Oh gosh. Here we go. It's a Cheez-It. Cheez-Its have this like interesting uniqueness to them because they don't cover themselves in like flavor. The flavor is in the actual cracker itself, which honestly you have to hand it to them. Most like if you eat like goldfish or something, they have the flavor on the outside and in the cracker. Whereas with Cheez-Its, the flavor is the cracker. Maybe some salt on the outside. Yeah, yeah it's good. It's a Cheez-It. You're gonna help me eat these, right? Cheez-It? Yeah. Okay. Now let's try this grape drink again. It's been a minute. I've had a couple of Cheez-Its. Let's see. It's sweeter, but like, I don't know. I, this is this is gonna be a gnaw for me probably. I'm not a fan of this. This is going to be Sonic the Hedgehog's uh, Peach Rings energy drink from G Fuel. Let's open that bad boy. Extreme focus, zero sugar. That's pretty good, actually. I really like that. So the difference between the cans of G Fuel and the tubs of G Fuel with the powder that you mix yourself, the powder that you mix yourself, it just tastes like a sweet drink. Whereas with the cans, there's like a mild carbonation to it. And honestly, I kind of prefer the carbonation. There's something about it that makes it taste less of that, that sugar substitute that they use for it because it can be overpowering sometimes. And I think the can with the carbonation makes it a lot better. I'm more likely to drink more of that than I am more of the tubs, if that makes sense. That's good. It's a super fruity peachy flavor. It doesn't taste super natural, but if you're drinking G Fuel, you're probably not looking for a super natural flavor. Though I do think they have like a natural line anyways, which I don't know if they have in the cans or not, but probably not for the video game tie-in ones. So we've got one more salty snack before we move on to the sweet stuff. And uh, that's going to be uh, suspicious still. Uh, this actually might not be salty? I don't know. <laughs> We're gonna find out, aren't we? So this is naturally and artificially flavored, and that's all it says. It just has the little Suspicious Stew Minecraft logo, which is an item in the game. It contains a bioengineered food ingredient. What does that mean? It looks normal. It smells sour, almost? I have to imagine this is supposed to at least taste fine because, you know, it's sold with the intention of being eaten. Then again, Jelly Belly sells vomit flavored jelly beans. So uh, I guess let's find out. That is weird. That is spicy. That's, uh, that's actually kind of spicy. It has a kick to it. I don't know how to describe it. It's like, it tastes like beef and onion almost, like a beef and onion mixture. I almost want to say beef and onion stew, but like, um, that's that's a really strange flavor. Uh, it's not bad. Uh, I don't know if I'd want a whole can of it. I feel like I just ate someone's home cooking, but like they made it too spicy for some reason. Like, don't get me wrong. It's not like overpoweringly spicy. A hot Cheeto is spicier than this, but I just did not expect spice, I guess. I've got nothing. I, I have no idea. I can't discern anything from the ingredients list. That was that. Uh, my review of this is, uh, it's okay. Uh, I understand why it's a limited time item. I don't think anyone's clamoring to eat more of these, maybe like collecting the can. I just realized they gave the Pringle guy a headset. Um, if you have the opportunity to try this, I'd recommend trying it. I wouldn't ask them to bring it back anytime soon. Okay, now we're on to the sweet stuff, and we have a few different options here. Let's start out, um, I mean, easy enough. Sonic the Hedgehog gummy snacks. Everything has a gummy snack nowadays, but let's see if the uh, Sonic the Hedgehog stuff is cursed or uh, just fine. They, they don't always look great. All right, first one, it is yellow. I think some moisture might have gotten in here. Ooh, I don't know, who, I think that's maybe supposed to be Tails. It tastes fine. Um, it's the kind of gummy candy where, unlike a gummy bear, you can just chew right through it, no problem. Like, whereas with a gummy bear, you have to chew a few times to even break through the gummy bear. These just kind of like, you could squish them in your fingers almost. I think this is supposed to be Sonic, like with his finger out, you know, like. Oh. Yeah, that tastes like a gummy snack. I don't know what the flavors are supposed to be. They taste kind of like just vague fruity flavors. Nothing offensive about that. Next up, we have the Trolley Sour Duo Crawlers. But uh, remember the Cheez-Its? 
These bad boys are PUBG too. Hey! Weirdly enough, I got these for free at PAX West uh, this past year. And I actually, one of the things that gave me the inspiration to make this video was why why? In fact, PUBG had like an entire booth that was just like a little convenience store and it was all PUBG, Cheez-Its, all kinds of other snacks. It was really weird, but I mean, I dig it. Apparently you get a free in-game content with purchase. See back for details. Snap a photo of your receipt. Weirdly enough, I got these for free at PAX West uh, this past year. All right, so these are the ones that have like two flavors. So it's got the orange side and the lime green neon side, I guess. It's not bad. I mean, I wouldn't go as far as calling these sour. They're not even really close to sour, but they taste pretty good. I actually prefer the taste of this to the Sonic candy. So yeah, these are pretty good. I think I could eat a whole bag of these if not stopped. So I'm going to only eat one more. This is the purple and pink. Is that pink? Yeah, pink. Uh, well, maybe we can give you some Cheez-Its later, okay? Come on. Okay. Everything from here on out is Nintendo specific. Just letting you know. First off, we have a Super Mario Oreos. These all have apparently different designs because it says, collect cookies, save the kingdom. Discover all 16 cookie designs. So one side, Oreo. I don't know if this is gonna show up on the camera at all. The other side, Yoshi. Look at him. My main in every Mario Party and Mario Kart game. A blooper. <laughs> That's two out of 16, we're on our way. A star. A spiny? Are these called spinies? I think they're called spinies. Yoshi again. Anybody but Mario, I guess. A coin. I don't think Mario is a character on these cookies. A mushroom. A fire flower. Luigi! We're almost to Mario, maybe! So, uh, I, I don't think a single one of these has Mario on it. I'm sure there's supposed to be one with Mario on it, but I don't think I got one. I'm looking at these just inside of the uh, little container. Um, I'm seeing a lot of Yoshi. I got like 37 Yoshi, but I didn't get a, what? I don't think I got a single Mario. Unless, is that Mario? Hold on, who is that? It's a mushroom again. A Goomba. All right, I probably should eat one of these, huh? What's the point of trying gamer snacks if you don't eat the gamer snack? I'm gonna eat the star. So I have invincibility. <laughs> So my spouse tells me that um, there's no rule saying that you have to dip an Oreo into milk, but like, is that not like the tradition? Aren't you supposed to dip these in milk? Like, you said that Oreos were made specifically to be dunked in milk. I would argue Oreos were made to be Oreos and you can dunk them in milk and it tastes good. You wanna fight me? Next up we have the Pokemon Graham snacks. There are two different bags of these. The only difference between these are the bag designs. They came in a big box. There's no point in opening both of these. They're gonna be exactly the same, so. Let's open up the one where Pikachu looks happy versus the one where Pikachu looks happier. Hey, they have little Pokemon on them. That's, I guess, Bulbasaur. Those are really good, actually. Whoa, hang on. There's like a little glaze of like sugar on top, I think. Yeah, they're like little graham cookies, but they have like this sugary glaze on top. They're super good. What brand is this? There's not like a specific brand, but you can still get these in stores, I think. I'm only seeing Bulbasaur and Pokeballs. Are there, oh, hey. I mean, this one's broken, but it has Pikachu on it. Yeah, no, these are fantastic. This is like my favorite thing I've eaten so far, actually. Quick editor's note. After recording this, I actually looked at the bag of graham crackers and saw that they were hella expired like months ago. So, I mean, that's kind of impressive that they were still really good. <laughs> Dang, okay. We have one more thing, and that is going to be the uh, Animal Crossing Pez Dispenser. How many of you have seen a Pez Dispenser but never actually eaten Pez? I've eaten Pez in the past, and I think they're fine. Uh, do I think Pez would be popular without the dispenser? That is, uh, that's questionable. I don't know how many flavors exist of Pez, but this comes with lemon, grape, and cherry. And it is, uh, Tom Nook, obviously. I'm committing the unspeakable act of opening a box of Pez with the dispenser in it, because these are for display only, right? Get out of there, you piece of- Ah, oh, it fell on the floor. Oh, God. We have the Pez. We have the Pez. We also have Tom Nook himself. And if you look, get ready. Oh. So the idea is that you take one of these and you load it into the dispenser, right? So we're gonna go for, I think, cherry. The inside has been opened. We have revealed the succulent meat of the Pez inside. Oh, one of them broke. Oh, no. Well, now's a good time as any to try, I guess. Here's a broken one. They're fine. Not as chalky as you would expect them to be. Now we gotta load them into the dispenser. Now the dispenser is very tight. There's like not much room here. 
for the Pez to fit properly inside. So you kind of just have to get a slot them in like you're trying to load like a... Is this how BB guns work? I don't know. Oh no, I did it like sideways so you can't... Oh god, am I, am I doing this wrong? Like, get out of there. Okay, we have loaded the dispenser. So there's like this little mechanism in the back that pushes out the Pez, right? So, wow. Then we pull it out of his neck and it's red so it looks like we just murdered Tom Nook. And then, hear that. It's tasty, it's got a lot of flavor, but very crunchy. Way crunchier than you'd expect. And that's everything I have. I mean, there's probably something I bought at some point that I've forgotten about that I'll remember as soon as I stop recording, but my favorite thing, believe it or not, is a shocker. It's the uh, Pokemon Graham Snacks, but, well, I think I like the Mountain Dew Citrus Cherry more than anything here, but the Graham Snacks are up there as far as, like, actual food. My least favorite thing is probably that Tails drink, the weird grape drink right here. This thing is just, uh, very bland, barely tastes like fruit. I mean, obviously, Doritos are Doritos. I mean, gummy worms are gummy worms. Really, I'd like to see more stuff like Suspicious Stew because this is like a brand new flavor. And it makes sense, like, Suspicious Stew is supposed to be questionable. So the fact that it tastes questionable, I guess, is a good thing. Yeah, not everybody wants to make something, you know, gross or not with that massive of appeal, but I feel like Minecraft sells it with the name alone. So anyways, if you enjoyed this and want to see something similar to this, I don't mind trying weird stuff. Let me know in the comments. What should I try next? Should I try something next? Did you hate this? <laughs> Please don't hate this. I hope not, because uh, I didn't. I actually enjoyed this, because I got to eat a bunch of snacks. But again, if you liked this, uh, let me know in the comments, or like the video, obviously. That's the best way to show me that you liked it. Um, if this video is successful, obviously people liked it, right? Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Um, I want to thank my patrons, including Cup, Cup Meg, Meg, Cup, Cup, Cup Meg, Meg, and uh, that's Ash in the Played Every Game tier, along with all of these fine people that should be scrolling across the screen right now. Yeah, thank you so much for watching, and have a fantastic day.